If you want to share a color grade you're excited about or showcase how much your effects have improved a shot, this method is the fastest, easiest, and smoothest way to do it. The first step is to hop into your inspector window and turn off the different adjustments that you made on that clip. We're disabling these individual layers instead of just clicking this button to turn everything off all at once because it's gonna make it easier for us in the next steps. By the way, this is a clip from a color grading tutorial on my channel, so if you're interested in learning how to create this look, I will link that video below. Then what you're gonna do is duplicate your clip by holding Option and dragging up. And keep clicking and dragging up until you've duplicated your clip around three or four times. How many times you duplicate your clip depends on how many before and after wipes you want your viewer to see. So basically, how many different changes from one shot to the next that you'd like your viewer to see. So for this shot, this bottom clip will show the original log clip, so we won't have any of these selected. The second clip will show basic contrast, saturation, and the input LUT. The third clip will show our primary look adjustment. And the last clip will show secondary corrections. Put your playhead at the beginning of the timeline, hold shift, and press the right arrow key twice. This jumps our playhead forward 20 frames, and this is usually where I trim this clip by pressing the keyboard shortcut, option, and left bracket. The next step is to go to your transitions browser and add the free wipe transition to this clip. And delete the transition that was added onto the end. We don't need you. You can make this wipe transition slower by dragging it out, and how much you extend this is gonna be personal preference. So if you want a faster before and after effect, drag the transition in, and if you want it longer, drag it out. Let's disable these top two clips by selecting them and pressing V, just so we can see what's going on underneath. And that is a good speed, I think. You'll notice that the wipe line is really soft and gradual, so let's click on the transition, head to your viewport, and drag this little guy in to make a nice harsh line, if that is the look you like. Let's enable these top clips by pressing V again, and where I like to trim these two is right in the middle of these two points on the transition below it. I like to have the next clip start while the previous one is still wiping in, and starting around this point achieves that effect. Now we can't just hold Option and drag to quick copy this transition to the clip above it. Instead, we have to click this clip and press Command G so we can create what's called a storyline with this clip. And just by doing this, we can now copy this transition just by holding Option and dragging. And then repeat those same steps for this last clip. So cut right in between these two points, Command G, and hold Option to quick copy this transition. If you want to keep things tidy, you could select all of this mess and press Option G to create a compound clip with them. That'll throw everything into one clip to keep your timeline nice and tidy. And there you have it. Go watch this color grading tutorial to learn how to make your videos look better, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.